learned the art of camouflage <laughs> you have to learn <laughs> that so. the minute you learn the art of camouflage you've sailed through girl trust oh. me <laughs> okay. no but i think fitness is really important and uh, not only for people like us who are you know uh, day to day in front of uh, the, the the media the cameras the uh, uh, you know whether you're doing endorsements appearances or movies i think even for um, uh, anyone you know it could be uh, you know even when i was just a housewife and i had not restarted my work again i was just chilling uh, even then uh, uh, the minute you step out of your house you have that little confidence uh, you know in yourself that okay now i'm looking good today and i want to step out and there's an automatic uh, you know bounce in your step the minute you know you're looking good and you're out there you know so i think it's not only necessary for people i think it's uh, for pe- people in our line or in our industry i think it's something that one should everyone should do for themselves not for what your boyfriend or your husband is going to think you look like but i think for yourself so just do it for yourself but it is not an easy job you are a mother of two and you do so much other work how do you maintain and you still sculpt your body so well uh, tell me the secret there has to be some secret you cannot go on um like you know honestly uh, i think that um when uh, on the contrary when you're working and you're running around is that time i think it kind of helps because you're not focusing on Uh, you know okay what i have to eat or what i don't have to eat so automatically that happens in fact i lose more weight when i'm working non stop okay so then it becomes easier for me to manage my diet because my mind is diverted but when i'm at home and chilling and i have those 2 3 days off and i'm sitting in front of the tv and watching my uh, non stop uh, run of shows of tyrant or homeland or or grays anatomy or whatever it's that when i want to you know kind of binge and that's that is the difficult point when you have to really control yourself oh i thought you were going to say that because my kids are nibbling on my mind so much and that is why i, I, I no you know what 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 is the tendency i don't know how many of you have had newborns but what's the tendency when your kids are toddlers uh-huh. is uh, are why waste you know because kids automatically stop eating after a while and then there's that food in the plate and you automatically end up finishing it that is the most toughest time that's the time when you have to control you'd rather waste than let it go to your waste okay little bit of toning for yourself is very necessary that 45 minutes a day for your body is very necessary any form of exercise i keep fluctuating i don't stick to a particular thing because after a while your body also gets immune to that so i have to jump start my body especially after a certain age you know i'm i've crossed my 40 so i know that after a while i have to jump start my body into you know shaking up the metabolism to make it effect so um, it could be anything i walk i swim i run sometimes i just do only yoga sometimes so that kind of helps me keep the momentum on okay but you know on a on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, on a fitness uh, scale where do you scale, you know rate yourself see yourself Are i'm on the know? cover what else do you want me to say i'm on the cover dude this is me i love it <laughs> It is one. We say that it is one. So you, you're, you're saying it, huh? I'm saying yeah. it. I love her, so I know it is okay, one. Okay, done. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep this session open to all my uh, uh, people here. Shoot the question, and I know that this rap sheet queen is going to shoot it back to you. Uh, my reputation precedes me. Can I hide? <laughs> Can I hide somewhere? <laughs> Can I just go with her? Yes. You don't need to do anything. You are fine the way you are. Please, someone give her food. Please give her food. <laughs> Can someone please give her food? <laughs> so, uh, what are your fitness goals and what are the rewards of staying fit? Sorry, what are my fitness goals? You know, honestly, uh, I don't believe in starving. I don't believe in you know completely pushing your body at that point where you're sick and because you are what you eat. um your hair your skin uh whether you know eyes a lot of uh, you know these girls nowadays are uh, you know uh, attempting goals which are beyond their body frame i mean i have a broad structure i have a, a broad uh, body frame so i know i'm never going to be a size 0 and i'm happy in my skin i'm happy what i am i'm fit i'm healthy i'm not obese neither am i like extra thin so the fact being that i think all of us also need to set a a, a correct uh, example for even the young kids to follow i'm i'm seeing kids at 15 16 starving myself the minute they become 13 or something starving themselves to reach or going on diets which i mean we never did re- honestly at that age and ultimately in the long run uh, it affects them somewhere because you know i have i've i've seen a lot of my friends who tell me uh, you know who are 26 or 27 years old and they say my god i'm losing a lot of hair what to do i'm like what are you eating these days so ultimately your body shows what you eat so if you have a goal uh, for yourself is to stay fit and be healthy and eat the right thing 
you always have a right choice instead mm-hmm. of that fried uh, you know bunch of chips which i just got mr hira gobbling upstairs <laughs> and i told him what are you doing man stop it <laughs> yeah i i i i i was warning him about his cholesterol and he always forces me to have it huh? every time every yeah you're you're telling me you will have this i was like no <laughs> i'm not going to you can <laughs> so it's it's you know just just make the right choice and that's it you don't have to starve you don't have to do anything just make the right choice because whatever you eat uh, ultimately your body is going to show see nani sir is making you eat that means the next question for you uh, and i'm eating according to you who are the fittest actors and actresses in bollywood today everybody today everybody i mean it, it it was not like the 90s where all of us came nice and plump and you know un, undid eyebrows and everything and we just we were just there and we evolved along the way but today if you look at them i mean who doesn't you know have i mean you can actually say who does not have a fit body actually i don't even know yeah. that <laughs> so yeah, i don't even know that who does not have who does not body? i don't <laughs> know that okay. yeah yeah more questions please Yes, yes, 25 years. Can you recollect three most memorable events from your cinematic journey so far? Anything that's been with you, stayed with you? I think everything uh, to a certain degree it can be even something as a most uh, you know uh, amazing uh, outdoor that one have has uh, had and had great memories or a unit which has bonded like a family. Um obviously my my award like a national award um Uh, my first film definitely most memorable because that was uh, i mean that's that's like a landmark um so yeah i i think along the line these are few memories that remain very strongly so in your mind all right hi amina so you are looking grand singer diamond thank you my no makeup look today is my no makeup look <laughs> completely it's like No, yeah, except for that lipstick to brighten up the fact and hide the fact that I've not done makeup. <laughs> like, so yeah, I I I believe in going as natural as you can, and let your inner beauty show, and uh, just a few enhancements. Uh, just always do a little bit enhancing of what your asset is uh, on your face, um, and I think that will steal the show. Mm. Okay, so you know everybody actually should follow that point. Yes. You know, today's actors get a lot of help with respect to their, uh, you know, specific trainers and dietitians. I'm supposing by the time you started out, you didn't have these. Can you tell me how you managed to, you know, stay thin and be in your role and stay keep that figure <coughs> at that time? Um, I think there was not so much pressure in those days for us. Um, uh, we were accepted how we were, like normal Indian women. Um. i think somewhere towards the late yeah we were still either plumped or given nicknames and stuff um like um okay what i won't say you all will only tease me nah, i'm not saying <laughs> i'm not saying i'm not saying go through all the old stardust <laughs> copies you'll come to know <laughs> go through all the old stardust copies you'll come to know whatever they call us i only remember one as sleegi and that sleegi that is not me that is yogi tabari Okay, that was Yogita Bali ji. My God, y'all attacked them since then. <laughs> Some shame, these seniors, poor things. But um, I, we thought we were the only ones on the firing line. And Idli Malani. Huh? Idli Malani. Idli. <laughs> I tell you, you're incorrigible. <laughs> Seriously. Let's just not. Let's talk about the present. What's her nickname? He's, I think you know it. He was now. He's Rats, now. He's Rats. become now grandpapa. So he has to remember those times. <laughs> I want to know what's happening. What about you? <laughs> you said very mean things about me. Tell me one. Very mean Tell things. Me one. I don't want to go into that right now. We will talk talk about it later. But one thing I must say that all that old gang who wrote really mean things about me now whenever they meet me the old gang not here. Whether it's Omar, Hari, Shashwin, Sarita, uh, Simi all of them Sarita that old gang for, Sarita you're writing for they now tell me that you're the only consistent one i don't know why <laughs> we did that to you you're the only one who was like that before and is like that now so that's a that 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 that, that i believe a compliment coming from this team the your yes come on i think that's a very nice yeah please that's an in house compliment i don't think 